tegemea hapa na sikia wadogo wadogo tuko wengi tuko wengi <laughs> tuko site ya mkoa Mailand CBO hapa ndipo tunapofanya mradi wetu wa crab farming hizi unaziona ni cages tunafanya cage farming hatujakuwa na uwezo wa kufanya pen farming na vile wenzangu unaona wameoshikilia wa crabs tumewatoa kwa cages hawa cages huwa tunawa feed twice in a day huwa maji yakiingia na yakitoka maji yakitoka huwa wanawekewa chakula yakiingia wana feed current ninafikiri umetembea hapa kwa hizi cages umeona wanalala hii ni muda wao wa kupumzika wakati maji yanapoingia wakisense tu hiyo harufu ya maji huwa tayari wameamka wana kinyakua chakula chao na hizi vidole viwili unaviona wana mikono hizo wanashikilia chakula chao wanaanza kukula so katika hizi cages vile unaviona tumeweka nembo tumeweka 5 ij maana ya kuweka hizi labels ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaweza kutofautisha ni yupi ana grow ana fatten faster na yupi ndio wako slow katika fatten They are both doing well tuko na challenges kidogo kidogo hapa na pale nafikiri tukiingia na yeye umeingia tumeona tuna safa a lot kwa hii matope tunaugua vidonda mingi tunakatwa na hizi miti e, sababu hatuna mdhamini wa kutupatia boardwalk tungekuwa na boardwalk ingekuwa rais kuingia hapa na kwa feed na kwa manage but normally huwa tunapata shida kama mwenzangu alivyokuambia sometimes kama sasa hii maji yanaingia late round 2 so inatubidi usiku tukuje na matochi na manini tusaidiane ili tuweze kuja kwa feed hatuna boardwalk tungekuwa na boardwalk ingekuwa kazi rais hata kama ni usiku unakuja una feed and you move but in future tuko na hopes ya kuweka boardwalk hata kiwezekana vile nimekuambia tuko na wizi wengi sana hapa normally watu huwa wanakuja kwa sababu hapa ni mahali ambapo watu wengi wanapita watu wengi wanajua mradi tuko nao huwa normally wakifaten kidogo tu watu wanakuja wanatuibia this is the challenges we are having so in future tuna hope kuweka CCTV cameras around this place ili kuweza kuman vizuri na kujua ya kwamba movement ya yule anaingia na anayetoka ili kusikuwe na wizi. Alafu hii area ambayo tumekuonyesha pia nafikiri if you check the environment it is best for pen farming. Ni vile hatuna uwezo pen farming you use a special nets. So that all crabs wanakuwa katika hii hii mud in their nature but unawafungia hawataweza kutoka nje. So instead of kuwa na cages kidogo kama hii ama 15 vile tuko nao hapa within this environment unaweza kuwa na almost 20,000 or 30,000 crabs ambapo kwa mavuno inakuwa ni rahisi kuwavuna na katika kuwalea inakuwa ni rahisi kuwalea so in future that's the plan we have tunaomba yote ambaye ni mshikadau serikali kuu government NGOs watuweze kutushika mkono ili county government county government ili tuweze kuinua hii mradi kwa sababu tunaona huu mradi ni ajira huu mradi unalea huu mradi unasomesha Um radi unaweza ku change the life of the community in this area. Na before I was a hotelier. Mimi ndio fundi wa Mokoi Mainland. I represent the technical pet. Hizi vitu zote unaona mimi ndio nimejenga. Na hii elimu nimepata dabaso ambako tulienda kwa benchmark. Nimeshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu yale niliyoyaona. Mungu alinisaidia kwa fahamu wangu na nimeweza kuyafanya ni kama mnavyoyaona. These PVC pipes tunanunua hapa. They are very expensive. They come into a length of 20 feet long. But tunakata kulenga na cages. Baada ya kununua hizi macres na hizo marine boards, marine plywood, tukajenga hizi vitu na zikafikia hapa. Hapa ndio mahali very safe wa wanyama kwa na mashimo. Hayo mashimo ni kwa kufanya maji ya penetrate kuingia na kutoka. Sasa kwa kuliweka hili kitu hii kwa ujumla ikiwa pamoja tunasema ni flota sasa kwa sababu hii na float inaenda juu it rises up and then comes down to the mud tuka support na hii mti hii mti tuna support tunaweka height ya maji ya kunavyokuja maji yakaenda juu sana hii pia na float kuja juu but at the same time it comes down to the mud kwa hivyo hizi kazi ndizo tunazofanya na kwa upande wangu mimi kama hotelia nilifanya kazi hoteli moja mali inaitwa Lofos Blue Mali welcome in hotels sasa mimi kwa upande wangu mimi kama fundi na vile nilikuwa maintenance department naomba wale hoteliers zote wakitaka kula kaa kaa wako mkoa mainland ndio hawa mnawaona wakuje please my request is to the hoteliers come to mkoa come to lamu come and eat the fresh crabs from the mud nikomba kwamba kama vijana na jamii yetu ya mkoa umepokea positively 
na umekubalika e, challenge zake ni, ni ndogo lakini kila tukisonga jamii wameacha kuivamia famia si kama vile mwanzo kisha na wengi wa hata wavu wavu wa kaa wapewa wanakuja kuangalia maajabu yani gani huyu kaa kawaida anakaa kwenye shimo mbona anaweka kwenye crate kwani ni mkate wanakuwa na mambo kama wengine wanakuja kutembelea tu kutaka kujua ukaa naishi vipi hapa lakini wakija kuona yale mazingira ya matope yako pale wanaweka kwenye maji ya bahari au wanayapata wanaona iko sawa na, 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 na wezi wengi wanakuanga nao wavuvi wa kaa wamekuja kuvua kaa wakikosa kaa wao wanasema acha tupitie kwa hii shamba wanachukua wawili watatu wanaongeza sikio kwa sababu ukipata ukipata kama kaa wawili uko na 1000 siku yako itakuwa umetengeneza kwa siku ukitengeneza shilingi 1000 uko mbele kwa wale ambao kama wamebahatika kuala wako na special test yake si kama wale ambao kwamba wanajitafutia tafutia wanakula vitu vingine hao wanakuanga wako na special test pia katika ukulaji kwa wale wamebahatika kukula utakuta wana utofauti na wale kaa wengine na hawa <laughs> lakini otherwise kama team tu kama team pia tunashirikiana hivyo hivyo tunaomza ni 750 grams kwenda mbele na hatujapata local hatujapata market mzuri kwa sababu ya production yetu iko low so huwa tunauza locally and we sell them 1000 shillings per piece package yeah. package yani from 750 to 1 kg that's 1000 shillings and currently tunaweza kuona mara mbili na hizi zingine ni sababu za challenges zile nimekueleza hapa na pale ndio imeweza kusaa tusivune na tunashukuru Mungu challenges come and goes na we are ready to tackle the challenges tuko tayari kupambana nazo ili tuweze kusonga mbele hakuna chochote kisichokuwa na challenge hata ukitaka kula wewe mwenyewe kuingia jikoni ni mpaka upate kazi kwanza upike uweze kula kwa hivyo is among the challenges tunashukuru Mungu na tunasonga mbele ndugu yangu kuweka hapa kwenye hii tope wanaitwa mad crabs it's one of the nature environments they like eh? that's why unaona tunaweka hii floating pipes eh? kwa sababu maji yakija yanapanda juu hawapati ule mchanga rojo rojo hii matope lakini maji yakishashuka yanakuja chini so they get the nature of the mud that's why we call them mad crabs naam eh ndio tuko site hapo mahali watu watupite vile vile governor the current governor alitembelea wakati wa campaign akaja akasikia kwamba na sisi tunasafisha kwa mwezi mara moja mji wetu akaiboro akaifanya kama manifesto yake sasa hii kama Lamu Island nao wanaanza huo mradi wa kusafisha mara moja taonewa kwa mwezi e, ni mstahiki Satimami alitembelea na akaja akaipata that idea akaipenda na sisi tunashukuru inaanza kutembea imeenda Lamu nasikia ndugu zetu wa Hindi nao wanataka kuchukua that idea kwamba kwa mwezi wanasafisha mara moja ndelee hivyo hivyo na mimi nafaulu siku moja